Hi guys, it's Just Jess here. Welcome back to my channel. So today I have a really exciting haul for you guys. So if you guys don't know, there's this brand I love so much. It's called Uniqlo and it's a Japanese brand and they have like the best basics ever and they have these other things called like heat tech and like um, they use like pure cotton and it's like a really cool brand so I went shopping of course and I bought so much stuff so I just want to show you guys okay so let's just get started so I have like a whole bunch of like basic tees because that's what they're really known for and they're super comfortable and cozy I got this navy one and it's like really comfortable and it's like a like ribbed knit type of thing. Then I got like some more t-shirts and like they're all like different fits and like different like materials and they're all like 100% cotton. So they're like super super comfortable. And then I got like, oh they have the best sweatpants guys. Like how pretty is this? Look at the color. And it's so soft and it's like so comfy and cozy. Oh and everything's like super cheap. I think these are like $20. And then they have these like really quick they have these like leggings and they're called heat tech leggings so like they're kind of see-through which is so annoying yeah you see they're like super see-through but yeah they're called heat tech leggings and they're supposed to like keep you like comfy and cozy and like warm but like not sweating so I don't really know how to do that but it's like you know sciencey and yeah they're really comfy and I think the heat tech leggings are only $9.99 so of course I bought like five pairs because you know I just live in leggings that's all I got for today and I would really recommend Uniqlo to everybody watching it's a really cool store it's really cool inside and uh, most importantly it's super cheap so if you really like this video go ahead and like it and make sure to to subscribe to my channel thank you guys so much for watching bye So we're about to go to the mall. <coughs> Say hi, Angela. Hi. <laughs> Say hi, Tana. Yeah, so we're almost there. We're in the car. So, see you guys in the mall. Bye. Hold on, guys. I kind of want to go into Uniqlo. You just bought a bunch of stuff from there. What are you, a shopping place, Angela? Hi. <laughs> These are so cute. You think? Yes, I would actually wear these. <gasps> oh my god, guys, look at these pants. They're so cute. Oh my god, I love them. You should totally get them. Jess, do you remember what environmentally aware Anna said? They're not sustainable. They are manufacturing in one of the world's poorest countries, Bangladesh, which has been investigated for violation of labor rights by students and scholars against corporate misbehaviors. Can you imagine having to work in a factory with poor sewage, no ventilation, and no working temperature? Ugh. They have no concern about the people working, making that merchandise. Know that. Oh my god, Angela. At least they're trying to be green. I mean, here it says that they've been consolidating fabric buying to create less waste. And according to their social responsibility report, they only have 70 manufacturers instead of over 100. So that's what many companies have. So that's like nothing. Yeah. 
basically. My friends are crazy. Hi guys, it's Just Jess here. Welcome back to my channel. So a couple weeks ago, I did a clothing haul from clothes I bought from Uniqlo, which is a Japanese brand. And I received a comment on that video from one of my followers, environmentally aware underscore Anna, um, talking about Uniqlo's um, bad working conditions and poor treatment of workers and basically that they're not a sustainable brand and that I shouldn't be supporting them. So I went and I did my own research and I found out so much about Uniqlo, the brand, and what the brand represents. And so I want to share with you some information about Uniqlo so we can both be more informed shoppers. Uniqlo claims to be a sustainable and socially responsible brand. However, they have had several issues regarding labor rights violations, including violating their own labor code of conduct. Most recently, Uniqlo has come under fire because of their closing down of factories and releasing over 4,000 workers without wages or severance payments. According to CNN, two of their suppliers in China have been accused of excessive overtime hours and unsafe conditions like poor ventilation in their factories. Many times, Uniqlo has tried to promote themselves using cause marketing strategies to build up their brand, but it seems have kind of been missing the mark. They had a free clothing giveaway meant to give back to the community in Canada, and they got backlash from it because there were homeless shelters and other organizations that they could have given to in order to promote more good instead of just advertising their heat tech brand. Basically, Uniqlo makes claims that they are being socially and ethically responsible, but it seems that they have been cutting a lot of corners in order to increase their profits and promote their brand. So I just wanted to come on and apologize to all my followers for not doing more research on brands like Uniqlo and just supporting fast fashion because it's cheap. And I want to specifically apologize to environmentally aware Anna because I don't want any of my followers to think that I don't care about people or I don't care about the environment and that everybody makes mistakes and I'm really sorry for um, supporting that brand and for not doing my homework and doing my research on fast fashion brands and so to all of you guys I just want to say that it's really important to research the brands that you that you buy from and that you and that you choose to support and I will do the same as well and thanks for watching I'll see you guys in the next video you didn't close Japanese right I don't want to like be racist